I'm Miss Hearn. Let's get started. It says find the derivative of k of x, which is equal to 1 minus x over 2x, and then find k prime at negative 1, k prime at 1, and k prime at the square root of 2. So for part a, we are saying find k prime of x, the derivative, which is the limit as h goes to 0 of k of x plus h minus k of x divided by h. So step one, we're going to find k of x. Well, that's always just given to us. 1 minus x over 2x. Step two, we're going to plug x plus h into the function k. So that's going to give us 1 minus x plus h divided by 2 times x plus h. Or in other words, 1 minus x minus h over 2 times x plus h. I like to leave the denominator factored out. Step three, we're going to have k of x plus h minus k of x divided by h. So that's going to be 1 minus x minus h over 2 times x plus h minus 1 minus x over 2x divided by h. All right, now step four, the limit as h goes to zero of 1 minus x minus h over 2 times x plus h minus 1 minus x over 2x all divided by h. Okay, we have to simplify because we can't just plug in zero. If we plug in zero, we're going to get zero over zero, which is an indeterminate form. This top is going to go to zero and the bottom is going to go to zero. We cannot plug in, so we're going to simplify. How do we simplify? Well, when we have a complex fraction, there's several options, but my preference is to um, multiply the top and the bottom by the least common denominator. So the least common denominator of these two fractions is 2x x plus h, and I have to multiply that in the top and the bottom, so I'm really just multiplying by 1. When I multiply it times the first term, the 2 and the x plus h cancel, leaving an x behind. So we're going to have x times 1 minus x minus h, and then minus, when I multiply it to the second term, the 2 and the x cancel, leaving an x plus h behind. So we will have x plus h times 1 minus x. And then in the denominator, we have h and 2x and x plus h. Write your limit as h goes to 0. So we have the limit as h goes to 0 of, I'm going to distribute my x's, so I have x minus x squared minus xh minus, foiling this out, we will have um, x minus x squared plus h minus xh all over h times 2x times x plus h. We simplify this, we're going to end up with negative x, positive x squared, negative h, and positive xh. So that means that the xh's cancel, the x squared's cancel, the x's cancel, and all we're left with in the numerator is negative h. So we have the limit as h goes to 0 of negative h over h times 2x times x plus h. And this is good because we can divide and we're left with just a negative 1 in the numerator. So we're going to have the limit as h goes to 0 of 1 over 2x times x plus h. We have canceled that factor of h that was causing us a problem, so we can just plug in. Once we plug in, we stop writing the limit. So we have 1 over 2x times x. So 1 over 2x squared. You're right, negative 1, thank you. All right, so that is k prime of x, negative 1 over 2x squared. So that was part A. And part B, we want to find k, we want to find these things. k prime of negative 1 is going to be negative 1 over 2 times negative 1 squared, so negative 1 half. k prime of 1 is going to also be negative 1 half. And k prime of the square root of 2 is going to be negative 1 over 2 times square root of 2 squared. So that's going to be negative 1 fourth. Okay, so these are the slopes of that function. 
at those given values. And I have here a graph. I graphed k of x on Desmos. Tangent line in blue is going through this point on the graph where x is 1. And we have a slope of negative 1 half. So that's what we saw here. The tangent line in green is going through square root of 2, which is about 1.4-ish, I think, if I remember correctly. Anyway, um, it's between 1 and 2, and we see a slope of negative 1 fourth. Both of these tangent lines are decreasing, but very slowly. So they're very shallow, so they have a small, small slope small negative slope. And then the other one uh, at x equals negative one in red there is negative one half as well. Okay, so that's all for today. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please remember to like it.